Hello, everyone. So today we are going to uh, learn how to secure a Kubernetes cluster uh, by using uh, Calico. Um, the role of Calico is um, it's uh, it's a CNI that enables pods to communicate each other within a cluster. So um, Calico has network policies. Uh, today we are going to um, uh, use a couple of simple network policies uh, to isolate workloads in different namespaces. As you might be aware, uh, Kubernetes have namespaces. Uh, within that, the pods are going to run. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use a simple Nginx server running on two different namespaces. And uh, we'll see when the policy is applied, one uh, uh, namespace part cannot talk to the other one. Um, that's a good place to start as a uh, as a network security um, uh, with Calico, and there and then um, you can apply more uh, such policies uh, as you go. Um, so I have with me today to help me uh, with this process Nagesh. Um, so let me. So hello everyone. Say hi, say hi Nagesh. Hello, everyone. And so Nagesh has put together a blog um, uh, with his team. Uh, I'm going to share that link. We are going to follow the steps from uh, that link. Um, so let me share my screen, and then we'll, we'll get started. Yeah. So I'll be posting the links um, on the um, uh, um, on the channel. Uh, when you're watching it, you should be able to see that uh, next to the video. So the uh, first. Uh, link I'm going to share is the blog that I'm going to follow. Okay, so let me share my screen now. So here is the blog. It talks about how to do it, and it's also referring to another blog. So you can go and complete the first few steps using that. Um, so I'm going to move this out of the way and uh, follow the steps. So the, the first step um, is to create three instances in uh, AWS. So this is uh, we, the, the workshop is going to be on AWS today. So we're going to create three instances all of them with the same uh, operating system and uh, memory and CPU. And we're going to make one of them Kube, uh, Kubernetes master, and the other two will be nodes. And then we'll form a cluster. Once we form a cluster, we're going to deploy Calico as a CNI. And then we are going to uh, deploy Nginx and try without the network policy and with the network policy. So let's start. So I'm going to go, the first step is to create the three VMs. So I'm going to go to my EC2. I'm going to launch three instances. I'm going to use Ubuntu. So I'm selecting Ubuntu here. Um, I'm going to use um, two core 8 GB, that is T2 large. Um, and, or, I will need three instances. And I'm going to use the Ohio VPC. And I'm going to use Ohio public. Um, next, we want to add storage. I'm going to put 30 GB. Tags, I'm going to skip. And um, I'm going to use a, a security group, a new security group. For, I'm going to start with port 22. I'm going to add another rule later. So and I'm going to launch it. So Nagesh, so far, OK? Yeah, I'll look at my instances. All right. So now I'm going to use my key.
So that's my SSH key. So so the instances are coming up. Meanwhile, we can go and change the security group, right? Yeah, we can go and uh, allow the security group to commit it from master to nodes, all three okay. instances. Yeah, so that's a lot of security groups there. So ours was 17, right? Yeah, 17. Yeah, there it is. So in this security group, uh, so already there is uh, one entry which is allowing support 22 from ex, um, external world. I'm going to edit that. I'm going to take uh, the security group name of the same security group. So what we are trying to do is allow all traffic within the security group. So add a rule, custom. So I want all traffic. Um, and save the rule. So now I should see both. So Nagesh, we're good this, right? Yes. Okay, let's move on to the instances. Um, let's see the status of the instances. Key name. Okay, so all three of them are running. So I'm going yeah. to yeah. Master. one master, right? Yeah, first one master. Second one is going to be node one. And third one, node two. I'm going to take the public IP. Then I'm going to move this window out and such using my key. Okay, so uh, this on the left hand side, this is the master. So I'm going to use the right hand side top for the node one log into Okay, I'm in. Now, this is node one. Now I'm going to go to node two. I'm going to grab the IP address. Um, All right, so we are in all three machines now. Now I'm gonna start following the instructions. So I went into the second article, so which I will post uh, installing I pasted that link also. This um there is a link to this article from the first link. So I'm going to follow these steps. All the steps are here. You can copy and paste. I'm going to do that so that um, by the end of this, uh, I will have a cluster running uh, without the CNI. And then I'm going to switch to the other article and then follow the rest of the instructions. So first is this. On copy. Doing a pseudo update, APT update. 
Um, then we are doing, um, I think we have the dollar, we need to remove the dollar from the, okay, so, All right, now I'm going to the third step, one step, 1C. I'm having a bit of a challenge copying, okay, copied it. Okay, that is similarly on notes also. Oh, okay, we need to. I need to do that and see. Okay, that's right. Copy. We're doing the same steps on node uh, machines as well. This is um, so at this point, what we're trying to do is uh, get the Docker installed first. So these are all steps to install uh, Docker. So I'm going to execute um, step 1C in the two nodes. Now we're moving on to 1D, which is um, adding the Docker repo to APT. Okay, almost done. All right. Next, again, I'm going to do a pseudo All right, now I'm moving on to one F. Just about to install Docker now. Now moving on to one G. So at this point, the next step is, so the, so far what we have been doing was we did the prep work to get Docker uh, ready to get installed. So now we are going to install Docker. We are installing Docker 18.06.3. Container Dio not found. Nagesh, can you take a look at that? See why? The version is correct, right? So 
So that step, I think, uh, the container dot io. See if that instruction is right. Yeah, I think there is a uh, small syntax error. Okay, so yeah, we'll we need to fix that. Okay, let's see. I will update. Yeah, please update the the article. Okay. All right, so all right. All right, so that's done. Now we're going to check if uh, so since we installed Docker, now we're going to check if the Docker is actually running. Uh, yeah. Looks like this is this is what we are looking for. So Docker is running. Now you can press Control C. I'm having lots of trouble with my clipboard today. Give me a second. It's running. All right, so it's running now. Next, what we're going to do is um, add the current user Ubuntu uh, to the Docker group. Copy is not working. Okay. There you go. So we, we're going to add Ubuntu to the Docker. So we're adding the Ubuntu user to the Docker group. Now we're going to test it. So we're going to do um, So now at, I'm at uh, step 1K. So here we are going to check. Um, sorry about my copy. So, the copy to clipboard is not always working. OK. Uh, right. uh, small solution. Yes. Yeah. So can you move the master node a little bit up? Uh, your name is covering the comments that you are entering. Oh, OK. Let me do that. Make that window give me a second.
and getting there. No, but I can't find that window. Give me a second, I'll start another one. Then keep it smaller. Yeah, that's better actually. It's better? Okay. Yeah, it's better. So I need to find the, so this is still, so let's go back and look at the, IP addresses. Master was 224. All right. Are you able to see properly, right? Okay, good. So So this is 48, 56, and 180. Okay, good. So we are back. So now going back to the steps, um, we're going to do the so this uh, step 1J is to make sure that you know the user is in the Docker group. You can see that it is um, Ubuntu is in the do group now. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, on the node one. So Ubuntu is in the Docker group. Okay, so you have the Docker group. Now, moving on. So at this point, Docker is running. The next step is to set up the Kubernetes master. So I'm going to move. I'm going to move on to um, step two, section or section two. I'm going to do um, step A, B, uh, and C under and uh, D or. D we are not going to do because this the, um, article talks about flannel. We are going to go back to the first article and then continue with the flannel at this point. All right, so let me do uh, 2A. So this need to be done in the master. Sorry. So, so two A we need to do it in all of them, right? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that two we have to do in North. Right. So that is installing Cube ADM. Um, and the Cubelet and the Cube CTL in all three nodes, right? Yes. That's correct. So I'm done with the two A, the first step. Now I'm moving on to the next one. Now the third step. I think there is an issue there, right? It's the UF should be in the next line, correct? Yeah, UF should be in the next line. Yeah, can you paste that? I think we need to fix that in the article as well. UF is um, in the second line now. Okay. 
Yeah, got it. Okay. Now the next step is to do a sudo update, apt-get update. Um, Moving on to the next step, installing specific versions of Kubelet, Kubadium, and kubectl. Doing the same in all three. Right, moving on to the next step where we are going to hold these versions because we don't want automatic upgrades to change these. So we are holding the version number using a APT mark hold. So that concludes step 2A. Now we are going to do 2b, which we only need to do in the master. So this step is going to initialize a node as a master using kubeadium in it. So at the end of this, this is going to take uh, a minute or two. And at the end of this, uh, it's going to print a um, couple of things. The first part is, um, I think there are two command, three commands that's going to set up your cube config, and the second step is to um, is to add the, the command to add the the nodes to the master will be displayed as well. So we're going to execute those two steps now. All right, looks like it was successful. Now you, there, there are the three commands. So I'm going to execute these three commands in the master. So at this point, if I kubectl should work. So the first thing you want to run is get nodes. And you should see the master. And the master will show as not ready until we install the CNI. In this case, we are going to install C uh, the Calico. Now, the next command is displayed here. I'm going to take that and go to the um, nodes and then run it with sudo. So this node is now joining the master. Again, on the second node. All right. Now, if I come back here and do get nodes, you should see three of them, but not all of them are status not ready. But you can see the IP address uh, or the host names of all three and the version number. Um, now, let's move on to our first article, which is this. So we are going to now follow the setup step three of setup uh, Calico. So I'm going to go through one by one. Uh, now, this need to be done only in the master, right, uh, Nagesh? Yes, that's right. So we are setting up Calico only in master. All right. So first, I'm going to download the Calico manifest. 
There you go, the curl command to download it. So now I have the Calico manifest here. Then I'm going to apply the manifest to the cluster. Now let's try the cube at nodes. Sitting there, you can see that it is now all right. So now the network is up and running. Let's also look at the, the, the pods uh, that are running for Calico. So we're going to look at get, uh, cube cuddle get pods, and we're going to look at the cube system namespace. And see that you know there is Calico running now. All of them are running and they are successful. Now we are going to move on to creating a test environment. At this point, Calico is running, um, but we haven't applied any any network policies yet. So at this point, all communication will be allowed. So what we are going to do now is we are going to create a namespace. Uh, so today, um, as I said earlier, what we are going to cover is. Um, network isolation between namespaces using a network policy uh, applied to Calico. So I'm going to create two namespaces called test1 and test2. Again, all this is in the master. So namespace test1 created. I'm going to create test2. Now, I'm going to apply a label to these uh, namespaces. All right. Now, I'm going to create an Nginx deployment, which in turns will create the pods. So I'm creating an Nginx on uh, under namespace one or test one. So that's created. I'm going to create the next one in uh, namespace test two. So now two Nginx are running. Now, with Kubernetes, we you know the, the deployment means and the pods will come up. In order to accept uh, traffic, uh, you need to expose it. So we are going to expose as a service using node port. So that is the next step. So this is um, exposing the first the, the uh, Nginx running on namespace one is going to be exposed on port 80. I'm exposing the Nginx on namespace two. Sorry, I pasted the wrong one. Okay, so this is the expose for uh, second Nginx. So that's also exposed now. Now let's check the two namespaces using get all. Okay, and that the pod is running. The service is running and the um, uh, deployment is running and the replica set is running as well. Now let's check the second one, second namespace, test two. You can see all of it is, uh, all of those are running now. We have a pod, service, deployment, and um, replica set. Now at this point, we are going to test the um, 
the communication without the network policy. So let's look at the pods. So this is the pod running in namespace one. This is the pod running in namespace two or test two. So at this point, I'm going to create a curl pod so that I can do a curl test on test one. It's going to take a few seconds because it's going to download the curl. Okay, there it is. It's coming up. All right. So now I'm, I'm in the curl pod. So here I'll be able to do curl. So what I'm going to do is, um, so we have the IP addresses of both um, pods. So I can see, you know, this is the IP address of the pod in test one, and this is the IP address of the pod in test two. So I'm going to simply use a curl here. So I'm in namespace one. I'm in a curl pod. So I'm going to curl to Nginx within the same, and I can see uh, it's working. Now I'm going to go to the other one. The second part in the names uh, test two namespace, and you can see that from a pod running in uh, test one, I was able to reach both. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the um, the network policy. So I'm going to exit out of this pod. And I'm going to create the manifest file for uh, test one. So here I'm going to say, and we're going to keep it very simple. So I'm going to say um, test1.yaml. And I'm going to paste that block um, the network policy. So in the article, it is right here. So I'm going to take this network policy and save it as test one. All right. Now, here what we're saying is, you know, it will only allow traffic from these namespaces. That's it. So I saved it as test one. And now I'm going to use kubectl create minus f test one dot yaml. And I'm going to apply that to test one namespace. Okay. So now the policy of only allowing from certain namespace applied to the test one namespace. Now I'm going to do the same thing for test two. So I'm going to create test two.yaml and paste the other policy. And you can see that it is only allowing from these namespaces. And most of the, um, this is a simple manifest file, so it's easy to understand, uh, read and understand it. So now I saved that. I'm going to apply S2 dot YAML. I'm applying that to test two namespace. All right. It's created. Now at this point, we're going to get the IP address of the ports again, just so that I have it in the screen here.
Okay. So now I'm going to run the curl again. I'm going to run it in the test one namespace. Okay, I'm in. Now let's see a curl to test. So this is Nginx in test one. It's working. Now I'm going to take this. And see that it is now stuck. It's not allowing. So what's happening now is I'm running this curl pod in namespace test one. Because of the policy, it is not letting me connect to a pod running in uh, namespace test two. So that's uh, the webinar today. Um, please do look at our website, the articles that I posted. And also at the bottom of the um, article, there is a link to other policies that you can set and other use cases that um, you can leverage um, the Calico uh, policy-based uh, CNI. So uh, any questions, um, you know, please do, um, you, know, you can contact us through um, our website um, and also follow us, um, follow our channel uh in uh in youtube as well as um in linkedin and um uh, we have a, a, a webinar or a workshop scheduled every week please do join us and uh, the next week what we are going to cover is um a, a python um workshop where we are going to do, create uh, create a set of microservices um from scratch um, using Python, and uh, uh, and it will be running in a Kubernetes cluster. So you'll be creating microservices ready to run on Kubernetes cluster, all within a ninety to um, ninety minutes to two hour window. All right. Thanks for joining.